All right, now Samsung recently pushed out a brand new update for the Galaxy S24 series, which added a brand new feature with respect to the color vividness on the screen. Now, many of you guys are confused whether this is better than the Galaxy S23 or S22 series or any other predecessors to the Galaxy S24 series. So in this video, let me clarify this to you. Let's go to the settings and tap on display settings on this Galaxy S24 Ultra and tap on screen mode. Now this is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let me go to the settings here and tap on display settings and tap on screen mode. Now you can see I have set this to natural on both these phones. Let me just adjust the uh, brightness here so that both look same. Now both phones are natural colors. Now when I select vivid color, you can see there is a big shift on the Galaxy S23 Ultra in terms of uh, colors and in terms of the contrast. Whereas on the S24 Ultra, uh, when we select vivid, uh, there is not much of a shift here. You see the uh, colors are brighter here and this is quite subtle here on the S24 Ultra. Now Samsung said this was made deliberately and uh, Samsung wanted to give us a natural look on the screen and that is when they reduced the uh, contrast as well as the color vibrancy on the Vivid option uh, on the Galaxy S24 series. Now with the update, we are getting a brand new feature. Uh, when we tap on Advance, uh, we get this vividness bar here, the slider here, with which we can increase the vividness of the screen. Now there is a small confusion when this is set to the lowest, whether there is any increase in the vividness or not. Now to clarify this, yes, there is some vividness when we uh, select the lowest point. By setting the lowest point, this is not going to turn off the screen vividness there is definitely a shift now this is set to the lowest and when i go back you see there is definitely a shift in the vivid colors on this galaxy s24 ultra and that shift is very very minimal and it is uh, visible to the naked eye i'm not sure whether the camera is doing the justice or not there is definitely a slight shift in the color vibrancy when we select the vividness at the lowest point here now when i go to the mid level this is something which is slightly more uh, vibrant than at the lowest level. And when I go to the maximum, uh, this is going to match the Galaxy S23 Ultra's uh, color vividness. Which means when compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, when we select vivid colors, this is the same color which will be matched uh, when we select the maximum vividness here on the S24 Ultra. I hope that clarifies. So there is no additional increased vibrancy when we go to the max out level here. This maximum level of vibrancy, the color uh, vividness is as same as uh, the vivid option that we select on the Galaxy S23 Ultra or any other predecessors of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, we get to choose the vividness level here on the S24 Ultra, which is great because this will be helpful for different kind of users out there. Some people might prefer just the natural tone and they don't want that uh, artificial colors on the screen. And some people may want the vividness, but not as much as uh, the one which we have on the S23 series or any other predecessors. Maybe slightly more vividness, which the Galaxy S24 series is going to offer. Uh, we can just set it to the lowest vividness here, which is slightly more vivid than the uh, natural tones of the Galaxy S23 series. And when we set it to middle level, the vividness will increase to some extent. And this is the max out level, which will match the vividness of the S23 series. So we have got various different options now with the Galaxy S24 series. That is something to note here. Now you guys let me know which phone do you use and what is the screen mode that is set on your phone. Drop a comment and let me know whether this additional options on the Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to help you or not. And would you prefer these additional options on the Galaxy S23 series as well as the predecessors? Drop a comment and share your thoughts about this. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe because there are tons of cool contents on the channel. Uh, they will be really useful for you to understand your Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.